Alright, hey guys, what's up? I'm going to be showing you how to essentially do this effect in Cinema 4D. Just basically, maybe a trans- it was a transformer sound to put in, but maybe a shattering, like, joined together particle-like effect. So let's go ahead and get started. Just open Cinema 4D. Now. You're going to start by creating a mo text by going to mo graph. Just center that in the middle. Just name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it infinite again. And choose whatever font you want. I like ethnocentric. I think it's a really cool font. Let's center a little bit more. And then for depth, I like to go to about 100. And then just center your camera by clicking these arrows and such at the top. Alright, that's good enough for now. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Motex, make sure it's highlighted orange and press C. Now you have a little plus I want to go here, go plus, plus, plus. Now click on infinite and then go down to T. Hold shift and drag it over here. Then we can delete that Motex layer. We don't need that anymore. Alright, now with infinite selected, we can go to MoGrav Poly Effects and then drag this underneath infinite. And then with Poly Effects selected, we can go to MoGrav Effector or and Random Foot Random. But for some of these it will just be MoGrav and Random Effector, but for mine it's different. Alright, now it's just a bunch of blown up stuff, so what we're going to do here is we need to make this join together. So, we can create a camera by clicking up here with a camera. Let's click this, that's like when this highlight thing is up, it just means that this is the view that the camera is looking through. Okay, if we click random, we can go to parameter and there's a bunch of XYZ coordinates and let's just make these really high I did 7000 and 7000 okay make sure you're think let's increase this to about 150 by the way that's 90 frames we're gonna go to 150 frames so it stops a little bit at the end okay make sure this thing is down all the way to the far left and Go right click on this box right here, go to animation, add keyframe, and this will add a keyframe right here. Keyframes is like a certain point at where your object is in the time. So we can go to down to about, let's do 100 and put all of these back to zero, then 50 back to zero too. And oh, I forgot to make a keyframe. Sorry about that. Just make them back to zero again. That was my fault. Then animation add a keyframe. And look, it's all together now. And then it stays there for a few more frames. Okay, now I'm going to help you edit the camera now. I like, I started for the thing out of like a corner view, which I thought was really nice. A little bit of lag here, that's not good. Okay, anyway, I start out right there. I try to finish this up. Make sure this is at the far left. And then press this button right here. That's your keyframe point for the camera. And this is where the camera is at that point in time. Now we can go down to about right there where it comes together. Now let's move the camera back to in front of the infinite words. Um, just try to center as best you can. That's that's good enough for now for the sake of this. Just click camera again and click the key point. So now we have a little bit of camera movement with it. Okay, it's a little boring though with just the gray text. So we're going to make a color layer to it. I'm just going to make a blue. Or yeah, I'll make it red. Make it a reddish color. Then go to reflection to get a sort of a reflected surface to it. Red again. And then we can bring the brightness down and up however much we want. 
I think that looks good for now. Drag this under an infinite, and you get that red text to it. Okay. Um, now that we have this, it's sort of it's sort of plain and simple. Let's style it up a little bit by whoops. Have to open that, not click it. By playing it, I like to put spotlights down. It's just me though. You can mess around with any type of light you want. Um, I want to get the whole thing in view, but a little bit of diffused look to it. If I can grab it. It's... All right there we go. All right there. Okay. go back to here see how that looks that makes it look a little bit better I mean it's not all the way centered but that's just because I'm trying to hurry this along but it's good for now and you can also make a lot of backgrounds like a white background you just add a floor and then a background and you suggest the colors so that they're all white but that's sort of that's not too hard to do and if you want to do that just let me know I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to render this. Click on this button up here and make sure it's on full render. Output. I like to make it a 720 HD video. And make sure you have all frames or just render your current frame, which doesn't serve you much use. And then you can type whatever you want as the name. I'm not going to type anything, but just whatever you want to name it. And then you can just go to then go to best under geometry and anti aliasing one by one is minimum two by two is maximum and exit out there if you click this middle button right here it will bring up a window where it has all your rendered pictures and it just renders it will take a while oh wait there's one thing i forgot for when you save this, save it as a QuickTime movie. That's the best format, I think. Anyway, a QuickTime movie will take a little while. So that's about all I have for this tutorial. If you haven't already, check out my channel. I have, I've made some cool animations lately, like, like this one. So I made some cool animations lately, and you can check that out. I'm also open to making intros and stuff. Just message me about that. If there's any other tutorials that you would like, anything with After Effects, Premiere, Cinema 4D, just let me know. Alright, thank you.